today we will create this. We will use Adobe After Effects for this, and you don't need any fancy things to get started, it's very basic and fun to create. Let's get started. Create a Photoshop document like I'm doing. Copy any meter measurements from the internet, and paste them in Photoshop. Remove the other colors using selection tool, so we just have the measurements left. Then create a rectangle shape using the shape tool. Create a new layer above the shape, and fill it with color using a soft brush, something like a gradient. Then create some lines using a thin brush to make a grid. Then on a new layer, create a knob using a circle shape, give it some color. Lastly create a needle, using rectangle shape and sort of shape it into a needle, like hands in a clock. You can color the meter element if you like, but it isn't important. Now crop the canvas using crop tool. Then save this as a Photoshop document. When it is done, I will start Adobe After Effects, and import the design we just made, here in After Effects. Create a new comp using this button. Give it a name. And note my settings. I'm keeping it 19 seconds for tutorial purpose. Then go to the folder where you saved Photoshop file. And drop it in the project. Here make sure these settings are selected. Then drop your song on the timeline. Double click the VU meter comp to navigate to it. Here delete background layer. So this is how it looks so far. I will move the needle's anchor point to the bottom using this tool. Now it will rotate through that point. We want the needle to rotate inside this meter and not to go outside. So, for that the process is simple. I will simply rotate the needle in both directions. And note down their rotation values. My both values are around negative 50 and positive 50. Then put the song on timeline. Right click it, and convert audio to keyframes. It'll create this layer. If you want you can delete the song layer. As for the other layer, open it, and delete left and right channels. Under these slider settings type this code. It'll smooth out the reaction. Then type this code under needles rotation. Let's play. It is reaching the red point, so let's tweak the code.
now it's just crossing the green, which is good for technical point of view. Now under your main comp. Drop the meter composition. Then create a new comp for vertical meter. Copy my settings. Draw a rectangle using shape tool. Place the anchor point to the bottom. Now copy the audio amplitude from the other meter comp. And paste it in vertical meter comp. Put a slider control effect to it. Unlink the shape scale. And type this code under scale property. Then attach the slider control effect to audio amplitude. Now your rectangle should react to the music. I will edit the code like this, so it reaches 100% height. Then put 4 color gradient to it. And set colors, like you see on general meters in real life. Then put Venetian blinds effect to make dashes. And that's how we make this meter. Alright now put this vertical meter in main comp. Push it to the side. Make a duplicate and push it to the right side. Also don't forget to mute the comps. Main song should be the one playing. Then add a solid to make background. Apply gradient ramp to it. Set the colors like so. Then move the layer below meters. Also increase the layer size quite a bit. Add another solid to make grid. Tweak the grid effect to your liking. Now put this below meters and above background. Lower the opacity. Duplicate it and tweak the effect for variety. Now type the song's title and artist names using the text tool. Now this is the fun part. Create a new calm. Name it as words glitch.
Editing the text tool type anything literally, like algebra or physics equations. Then drop algorithm loop effect to it. Now it should start twitching like sci-fi text. Place it somewhere. Duplicate it and type another cool term you know. Keep duplicating and typing random words to give it somewhat a technological feel. I've put words glitch comp in my main comp so they appear among meters. Alright so that's how it looks. I will lower the opacity a bit. Turn all the layers to 3D. Then create a camera. Add a null object make it 3D as well. Name it as cam control 1. Duplicate it. Connect the camera to control 1 and control 1 to control 2. Now you just have to animate the controller's rotation and positions. Make a duplicate of the meter. Rename lower 1 as reflection. Change the blend mode to screen, and lower the opacity. Then change the above layer's position like this to bring it to the z-axis. See when I rotate this, the grid layers are cropping. To fix this simply increase their scale, until they stop cropping. I will now add depth of field using camera property copy my settings. As you can see above, the vertical meter started to blur out. This looks so much better now with depth of field. Now for the color field. part I will create an adjustment layer. Name it as color FX. Put a color balance effect to it. Adjust the values and make it somewhere a tiny bit green or blue. Then put a curves effect. Add another adjustment layer. Name it as glow. I will use a third party glow for this, but you can use any glow that is available for you. Create another adjustment layer. Name it as tint and put it below glow layer. Put a tritone effect to it. This will completely change the look in a good way. Then put curves effect to make it pop. Put exposure effect and give it some fade and brightness. It looks cool to me. Then create a light. Copy my settings. It's not important whether the light layer is above or below. Then create another light. But this one is going to be ambient light. 
I will change the color, reduce the intensity. Then put light number 1 to somewhere to the top right. You can always change the tritone colors. I think this looks pretty convincing. Have fun and play around with these. See how sick all these colors look. Alright now select the pen tool. You can change the color if you want. I will draw a shape around the corner like this. Then put fast blur or any kind of blur to it. Blur it out. Then change the blend mode to screen or color dodge. Lower the opacity, if it's too intense. You can always change the color for a different feel. Ok now put a bevel alpha effect to the meter layer. This will give a colored edge to the meter. Tweak it like this, and stop when you think it looks good. So my boys and girls I do hope you enjoyed it, I have my website coming up pretty soon where you'll be able to download some cool projects and presets, so, keep an eye for that, hit the sub button, if you think it was helpful, thanks for watching and goodbye.